Indeed, all right, Barbara, thank you. Uh, from Pakistan to neighboring Afghanistan, there's been a lot of debate about American troops there, and now American troops are talking about the war strategy themselves. Let's bring in our Pentagon correspondent, Chris Lawrence. So what are they saying, Chris? Well, Wolf, the Foreign Relations Committee asked for a raw assessment on Afghanistan, and they got it. Not from the generals, but the corporals and sergeants who fought that war. As a young veteran, John Kerry criticized the Vietnam War. We're angry because we feel we have been used in the worst fashion by the administration of this country. Thursday, he was chairing that same committee on the receiving end as senators heard criticism of President Obama's order to send more troops to Afghanistan. I know a troop escalation is a huge mistake. When you want to occupy the country with that many troops, that's a sign of poor intelligence. Corporal Rick Reyes described the problems his unit faced on the ground. Uh, there's no effective way to distinguish terrorists from the general population, so you're forced to suspect everyone. Others complain troops are not adequately trained on Afghanistan's culture and how hard it is to develop any loyalty. We rotate out units every six to twelve months. We then ask our Afghan counterparts to give the same hard-earned trust we earned, nurtured over time to perfect strangers. One young sergeant urged senators to keep funding the war and described an ambush where a sniper shot one of his men. The last words O'Neill ever spoke were, I'm sorry for letting you down. He was only 19 years old, yet he understood the mission was larger than himself. His last words were entirely selfless. I held uh, Evan's hand and said the Our Father as he died. Excuse me. As I think back to that day, I understand the memory and courage of men like PFC O'Neill must be honored with a clear and coherent strategy to help the people of Afghanistan. That sergeant says he felt abandoned when the U.S. switched its focus to Iraq. He fought in both wars and says he felt way more support from the Afghans than he ever did from the Iraqis. Oh, interesting, Chris. Thanks very much.